just finished up the meetings uh, this morning and to walk through uh, offense, defense, uh, special teams, and uh, really the uh, same message I gave them after the game. You know, it was about uh, the focus that we need to have um, to get this thing uh, going in the right direction. And uh, it's about the details of each man. You know, it's about the details of each position, you know, player and coach together. And that was the message we had, and we talked about that during the team meeting this morning. Um, and then really, it's about the fight. You know, it's, you know, to get this thing turned around, the determination and the fight you need to have um, as an individual person, as an individual position group and a unit and your football team. So um, the guys were determined there, and we, we, I feel real good about the look in their eye. Um, had a leadership council meeting uh, this morning as well uh, to, to uh, discuss those topics. And uh, it, was a, it was a really good meeting, a lot of good communication in that meeting. And um, so during practice today, the drills, the walkthroughs are going to be working on the, on the fundamental improvement of each person, and they should reflect those uh, individual fundamentals. And I think and I know if we get better at those fundamentals, each individual guy, um, we're going to be a better uh, execution on, on Sunday. So with that, open up to questions. The, the leadership council meeting that, yep. that you're talking about, more spirited than usual? Uh, it was really good. It was just open communication like it always is. Uh, there was no difference in terms of that. You know, we talked about a lot of different topics there. Um, obviously, we talked about the football team and how we're going to improve and how it's up to us to be able to lead our position groups in there because they have one or two guys from each position. Um, so that was really good. Um, also, you know, uh, outline the week, you know, because we have a, uh, the week coming here and then how we're going to get ready for that next week, you know, just to give them an outlook of, of uh, not talking too much about it, but what the outlook was for the, for the following week as well. Matt, when you talk about the need for fight, what specifically are you looking for in that regard? Yeah, just being determined uh, to improve, being determined to improve at, at your skill, at your fundamentals, at your position, right? And that goes hand in hand with the coaches, right? The coaches are in charge of that as well. Um, we got to make sure that we're putting guys in position uh, so they can execute. Um, and it's always going to be about both coach and player. Matt, are you going to get more involved, or have you already gotten more involved in the offense than you did in the first three weeks? And are you able to do that while you're also running defense as coordinator? Yeah, I mean, when you're you're uh, you know when you're not doing as well as you're, you know that you would hoped you've done, um, certainly I'm getting involved. You know, I've been involved in that. And we're just, you know, putting our heads together how we can make our skill set thrive inside the offense, you know, and what's the best way to do that. And, uh, you know, it's an ongoing conversation with Luke and uh, Janoko and uh, Chris Morgan and all the guys. And I think that's important. Um, and that's been, again, there's been a little bit more time on it because it's just, you know, uh, important for us to get that going for us to be able to, to win this game. And uh, but to answer your second part of the question, no, it's it's been the same equal parts, you know, to be able to do that. Like I said, the defensive staff has helped me out, uh, put the game plan together as we as we go, and uh, they're doing a good job with that. Yeah. Do you have directives on how you want the offense to be? It ultimately is your responsibility, but you give Luke a lot of authority. Uh, is it? Have you stepped in and said we need to do this? Uh, we put our heads together. Uh, and, and uh, you know, as offensive staff, uh, myself, and then we just do a good job of saying, okay, this is where this needs to go, and, and this is where we're, we're working to get it to go. And, and to confirm, will you be calling defensive plays again? Yes, I will be calling. Yes, I will. And, and do you think that that will be for the rest of the season? Is that the plan? That yeah, that's the plan, and, and uh, we've talked about, you know, different things, but uh, that's the plan right there uh, right now. Matt, when you think about the 2018 Colts, you, you mentioned it the other day, the one and five start, and then turning things around. What was, what was the key in that turnaround? Was it self scouting and making any changes? Was it staying the course? Like, what went into that turnaround? Yeah, it was both. It was both. You know, certainly we wanted to. Uh, you always self scout. You always look at your, you know, where your deficiencies are and how you can improve on those. And uh, basically, it comes down to the execution piece, the fundamental piece of it. Um, you know, and then really doing a good job of making sure that you're having things where guys can play fast. You know, so the way you're coaching it, right, the way you're uh, putting it in as a, as a coach, that's where you can be helpful with those guys and to make sure that they're playing fast and physical and executing at a, at a fast rate because that to me is, is good football, you know. So um, that one in five start, it was, it was hard. Um, it was a battle. And but ultimately, it came down to the players and coaches, you know, in that locker room, okay, coming together um, as a group and being determined to not let each other down on, on Sunday, you know, because we cared so much about each other, and that's what that's going to be.
And now, you're, about, you're about to face a defense that gave up 726 yards this past weekend. What in that film is relevant for you guys going into this week? Yeah, you look at you look at the tape, and again, that's a different skill set that they were playing. So I think they set their defense up uh, differently. Um, I'm sure. Um, so we'll see where it goes in terms of you know uh, playing you know, a, a different opponent this week uh, for those guys. But uh, again, they're going to be determined, right? You know, they they just you know that that same thing happened to them, and you know they're they're not happy about it either. So um, it's going to be a battle. Is there anything you can draw from seeing where some of their vulnerabilities were? Um, uh, yeah, you always look at the tape. You always look at the tape, but again, it's all about the setup. You know, we don't know if the setup's going to be that way. You know, it's a game plan defense, so they change and adjust every single week. So we're going to have to adjust to what we see. Now, the majority of your top receivers came here via trade. How do you either keep them encouraged or locked in that they will get the opportunity to do what they did elsewhere, which made them so attractive to this team to trade for? Yeah, just communication. Just talk to them. I've talked to every one of those guys, uh, you know, from, from DJ to Cole to Mooney, all those guys one-on-ones uh, separately together. And it's about just staying determined, right? Having a positive attitude, having a can-do attitude, uh, working with Justin, you know, working with the offensive staff and to be able to get that done. And uh, all those guys are right on board and uh, they're excited about uh, about the opportunity this week and also be they're also determined too. Matt, in the past when, when we asked you about the losing streak, you say, well, we've got guys who weren't here last year, but mm-hmm. guys who were too. Yep. You have a coaching staff that for the most part was here. I, how do you? What can you do as a head coach to make sure that the weight of just not winning a game in eleven plus months doesn't affect what you do? And I imagine it would be human nature if it did, right? Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of times what happens is with, with human nature is that you make excuses, right? You blame this, you blame that, you blame injury, you blame circumstance, you blame all these things, and you can't do that. You know, you got to own up to what you what you've done, right? And the circumstance is a circumstance. You got to you got to execute and do what you're supposed to do and do your job every single day. Right, and you never know when it's right around the corner. So that's the attitude we have. We're determined. We're focused on this week alone, and that's the attitude the coaches have. The risk of an obvious question: What does it feel like to go through 13 straight losses? You know, like I said, I focus on this year. This is a new football team. You know, so I'm, I'm focusing on uh, you know week four, and we're just we're, we're, that's where we're focused right now. So has given you indication that that determination is there. I know you've said all these things, and that that you still have the ear in the room. Yeah, I would just say the detail, you know, the detail of your guys listening and focusing in the walkthroughs. You know, I really look at walkthroughs first um, because that's the first thing we do in week in the week. And the guys are wired in. You know, we got to lock in and the guys are doing a good job with those. And that's step one. Right. So the meetings are first. They're locked in there. Walk through second. And now we got to have a good practice. Matt, how, con- how concerning is it with the pass rush only generating one sack in three weeks? You know, it's, it's something we got to keep do better. We got to do it better, you know. So we're going to continue to do that. We're going to end up, you know, you know, sending four guys and playing some coverage. You know, we obviously got to send, you know, send five sometimes, send six. But uh, again, we just got to do a good job. We've gotten home some, and we've missed some uh, sacks in the pocket. So we have to do a better job with that, uh, making sure we do a good job of getting the guy down when we do have pressure. Um, but uh, again, that, that number's got to improve for sure. Can you yeah. pinpoint? Is it are there scheme changes that probably would lead to, you know? those pressures becoming sacks, or is it something personnel-wise? Can you figure? Yeah, I would say it's, it's always going to be both. You can always look to improve. Um, you're always trying to change and, and move uh, how you look on defense, you know, in terms of, you know, beating their protections. Um, so I think you need to do that first. Um, and then also the guys one-on-ones, it's four equals one. So, you know, if it's going to be a game you're running, they got to run the game with violence and you got to run it co- correctly. If it's just uh, guys just rushing, they got to play off each other. They got to cover each other. If it's, if it's a – Right cover or left cover or an inside cover inside, we have to do that with precision. Matt, you uh, come in. Jermaine, Jermaine Edmonds is averaging like 10 tackles a game, but frankly, really hasn't felt his impact in the game. Feel free to, to disagree with that premise, but but why is that? Why has he not made the impact that, that maybe you had hoped uh, or Bears fans certainly hoped for? Yeah, I go to the latter. I disagree with that. I think he's played, he's made a lot of tackles in there, and you felt him. He's had a lot of nice big hits in there that I think will, will uh, generate enthusiasm. And he, as he does those, he has to do a good job of punching the ball at the same time to create impact plays. Um, so we're working on that, we're working on lowering his tackling a little bit uh, to make sure he can get down to that position where you need to be uh, to create those uh, big plays. And uh, he's going to work diligently to get that done. And so far, we've heard more. I would argue he's your best player. Why is he not – why isn't there an insistence that he's getting the ball more, that he's getting – 10 to 15 targets a game. Yeah, DJ is a great player. 
Uh, he really is. And uh, he's a great person too, you know. So, you know, we obviously have to target, you know, him as well as the other skill on our team. And, uh, you know, that's that's one of the conversations we're having as a group, you know, as an offensive staff and myself is you know, being able to in the first – plays of the game, you know, the first 15 to really target those skill players. Um, and DJ is one of those guys. Now, you him, I mean, is, he the, is he the priority as your most accomplished well, dangerous offensive player? Yeah, I think uh, no question about that. But, you know, you also have to distribute the skill um, to the skill. You know, Mooney, Cole, you know, all the guys in there, we got to do a great job with that. And then establishing the run. That's going to be an important part, too, to open up those pass, uh, the pass. Matt, you more, last week you said that uh, you calling plays was in the best interest of the team. Mm -hmm. Specifically, can you expound on that, or why why make the decision to do it the rest of the year, uh, knowing that there could be some options, especially got this ten day break here coming up? In two yeah, like I said, you know, we're we're looking at it. Like I said, we've discussed it, right? So right now, where we sit right now, this is the best thing for us, you know. And that the reason is, is because you know, you know, I'm the defensive coordinator, you know, where I came from, and it's a natural fit for us to do that right now. Man, you guys are coming off. Of, you guys are coming. You guys are coming off a lopsided loss. I mean, the Broncos lost by 50. How much do you think it's just this is going to come down to which group of players is kind of sick of losing and maybe embarrassed after last week? Well, that's what we're talking about, the fight, right? It's, it's going to come down to a determining, you know, group, you know, out there. You know, the Chicago Bears need to be determined to get this thing done, you know, and uh, it's going to come down to that moment in the game, right? There's going to be a moment in the game in the second half that we got to, you know, we got to do it, right? And we got to pull together and get that done. It's going to be done through execution.